heard at about one o'clock him screaming for breath, um, ran to his room and he literally was gasping for breath. He had this horrible barking noise. He, um, he, he was pulling at kind of at his chest to try and breathe. Uh, he wouldn't take his Ventolin. Um, and at one point I said to my husband, I, th I think we're actually going to have to call the ambulance. I think this is about 20 minutes after it happened. I think we're going to have to do it. I ended up racing him. I don't know how many traffic lights I went through, but I, I raced him to hospital. And, and as soon as we got there, they they assessed him quite quickly and he went straight to recess. The doctors were working on him for quite a while. Um, they gave him some adrenaline to try and um, kind of relax his throat um, and he wouldn't take that. That was through a, a face mask, so he fought that the whole time. Um, and then afterwards he kind of, he, you know, went to sleep, he was absolutely exhausted. Um, and then a couple of hours later it came back again. So we are basically in hospital, him screaming and gasping for breath. Um, and they had to give him more adrenaline to try and get this airways open. And I'm, I'm dreading the next episode because if, it, it can only get worse, basically. When a child has an asthma attack and is rushed into an emergency, the need for adrenaline, for steroids, the need to immediately get oxygen to them is just so scary and just so happens so quickly. It really is a very difficult thing for parents to manage and anything we can do to prevent that occurring is really, really important and really, really worthwhile. Your support will allow us to recruit 50 children who are either pre preschool or primary school age and we'll be bringing them in and helping them to make changes to their diet to improve the diet quality. And to do this we're going to get children to select fruits and vegetables that they like from different colour groupings. And the reason that we're doing this is because it's the coloured pigments in fruit and vegetables that are so important for their health benefits and we believe that they'll reduce inflammation. So it's inflammation in the lungs that causes asthma attacks to develop. So fruit and vegetables we're hoping will be able to protect against that process. Uh, so my role in the trial is basic coordination of the study. So I'm going to identify potential children and families that this study could actually benefit. Um, I'm also going to design the dietary aspects of the trial. And I'm going to work with the families and the child who has asthma to work out how we're going to get them to follow the diet so it works for them and they can actually adhere to what we're asking them to do. So these types of coloured fruits and vegetables include broccoli, your green leafy vegetables like kale and spinach, also your orange vegetables like carrot, sweet potato, pumpkin, red vegetables, so tomatoes, capsicum, and also yellow ones like squash and corn. The fruits, of course, we've got oranges, bananas, strawberries, blueberries, peaches. There's a lot of range, so that means there's a lot of choice for the child as well. I think the study will be of great benefit, um, especially with the diet part. That's something I have control over. I can actually determine and help him have a high vegetable and fruit diet. If that's going to help his asthma and reduce the amount of times he gets sick, that's something I can actually help with. I know that he's going to still have to take his medications, but if it's something else that I can actually help with and make sure that he's taking and it's only going to get a benefit and help his lungs, I'm, I'm all for it. Air is precious. It's, it's, it's what I need to keep my boy alive.